Hello, babies. Welcome back to Packer Factor on Sifted.net. I'm Michael Pactor. Um, if you are watching real time, it's because you're a Patreon patron, and we thank you for that. Or because you've linked your Twitch Prime account to your Amazon Prime account, we thank you for that. Make sure you do that. There's a ticker below with the names of those of you who remembered to do that. Um, or your YouTube subscriber. That's all great. You're getting it real time. If you are not doing any of those things because you got no money, you can't afford it, you don't care to give us money, uh, you're watching a week late. Today's question from Twitter from at Fahad Zen. Why doesn't Nintendo sell games on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, mobile, etc.? Nintendo would lose out on hardware sales, commissions on third-party sales, and Nintendo Online subscriptions, but wouldn't multi-platform sales more than offset that lost profit? Um, ask Sega. You know, that's that's the question you want to ask Sega. They got out of the console business. They went to become a multi-platform software seller, and I don't think they've made any different profit since. But they've certainly certainly faded from uh, kind of brand awareness. Like the brand Sega just isn't worth very much anymore. Um, they still have games like Sonic that we care about, but the brand has really gone to zero. Um, Nintendo views itself as a hardware company. Nintendo believes it makes hardware and that all of its software exists to support its hardware. So it honestly thinks it is in the hardware business and software helps them to sell hardware. Um, Apple's the opposite, shockingly. Apple doesn't think of itself as a hardware company. They make world-class hardware, but they think of themselves as a software company. And so Apple thinks the reason its hardware is so cool is the OS and the App Store and the app ecosystem, you know, and the music and everything else supports the hardware. And you buy their hardware because you want the best display of their software. But the fact is you can use Apple software on a PC. It works. You know, iTunes works. So, you know, the truth is that Apple is a software company and they, they're fine being on PC because they know that you, their software is superior. It really is great. Um, Nintendo, I think their software is superior, but they think of themselves as a hardware company. So they would be betraying their mission to put their software on a competitor's platform. Um, now, the reason I said I think that's actually a brilliant question and they're not going to do it is there's an exception that I believe they should consider and they will consider which is to take their library software and I'm talking games made for the Wii and earlier you know so not not even Wii U and put them on mobile and if they were to do that with a subscription then they would turn people on to games like Mario who never owned a Nintendo console so if you could play Super Mario Brothers 3 on your phone as part of subscription you're that much more likely to buy a, a uh, switch when the next Super Mario game comes out. And I actually think they could win over a lot of customers. Um, Nintendo could probably pull off a subscription. They could, you know, again, pay Apple 15% you know, uh, of subscription fees. That's all it is. Um, so they could charge, let's just say, $6 for a subscription per month, give Apple a dollar and make five bucks. I would bet, I will actually take this bet. Um, if Nintendo did that, they would have 200 million subscribers. I think Nintendo at $5 a month on the phone with the entire Nintendo catalog pre-2013 pre would get as many subscribers as Netflix. They could make a billion a month. That would be massively profitable for them. So again, uh, in fairness to Nintendo, um, I'm very friendly with Doug Bowser. He is the best of the best. And Doug managed to get me not one but two meetings with Mr. Furukawa, who is the current CEO. Uh, Mr. Furukawa uh, asked me if I had any questions for him, and I asked him that exactly. Why don't you take the library and put it on mobile and charge a subscription and convert you know 200 million people to become Nintendo fanboys? And he said. That is not something we have considered in the past, but that's certainly interesting, and thank you for letting me know. Now, that's a polite way of saying, fuck off, we're not doing it. <laughs> but, honestly, I think he's the first CEO they've had, ever, who's open to suggestion from the outside. And I say that because he asked me, is there anything any anything you'd like to ask me or you'd like to tell me that you think? 
And just the idea that he's open-minded enough to reach out to me, the first one, first CEO in Nintendo ever who's reached out to me. Um, my, my buck always stopped with Reggie and then Bowser. Um, the idea that this guy has reached out to me twice and he might not do it again because I told him what to do. I think that's something that they would consider. So yes, I actually think it's an idea that they should do, but um, they haven't done it yet. I think if they did what I said, a billion a, year, a, billion a month more, um, if they just went on other platforms and sold on Xbox, no. They, they're, they're, they, I don't think there are very many uh, Xbox owners who want to play Nintendo games who don't have a Switch. I, I, and so I think that they, they're right. I think they sell a Switch to everybody, whether they have, whether they're PlayStation fanboys or Xbox, they still buy a Switch if they want to play Nintendo games. And if they didn't make those Nintendo exclusive, Switch exclusive, then those people wouldn't buy a Switch and they just buy the software. So I think they lose out on the hardware sale. Uh, Nintendo is the crossover platform that everybody buys. If they sell the software to a guy without selling the Switch, they lose a the Switch sale. And I don't think they would sell that much more software. I think they'll sell the hardware and the software to the guy who wants to play the games, and people will buy both. I don't think they're missing anything. Different on mobile, because that, that, that would be a really inexpensive subscription. And those are people who already have a phone but aren't going to buy hardware, period. But that would be 200 million people, quickly. Um, thanks for joining us on Pactor Factor. Uh, remember, if you link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account, we get paid. And there's a ticker below showing all of those of you who are thoughtful enough just to remember to do that. It costs you nothing. It, you're already paying for it as part of Prime. So since it costs nothing, if you're a Prime member, and you should know if you are one because you're getting three packages a day from Amazon if you're a Prime member, um, then please remember to link it. If you're a Patreon patron, thank you for your patronage. You can subscribe on YouTube. Thank you if you do that as well. Uh, we need as many of you as we can uh, just to keep Shane eating.